guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the Eddie Van Halen scale. Lots of you guys, as soon as I mentioned it in a previous video, you're like, hey, when are you going to do the Eddie Van Halen scale video? So here it is coming at you. Now, the first thing you know about Eddie Van Halen is uh, these are just kind of like things that he likes to do, but he's Eddie Van Halen. He does what he wants because he's the, well, he's the best. He's the man. Um, we're going to dive into this and kind of take some of these little ideas that Eddie uses. And, you know, you can throw them in your own playing. And uh, tabs are linked down below if you're feeling like checking those out. Let's just go ahead and dive into this. All right, so phase one is understanding a lot of the common ideas that you'll see across Eddie's playing. And you know, anytime you learn any guitar player stuff, you'll see certain habits that they have. But he certainly has some little things that he does that you see across numerous songs. And some of these are these patterns. Now, I really feel like Eddie's playing is, is kind of like rooted in the pentatonic scale. Now, of course, Eddie played piano and all this stuff, so he has this very rich musical ear. But um, I feel like a lot of his rock playing is still rooted in the pentatonic scale, at least early, like, you know, the Diamond Dave era stuff. So um, you'll see these patterns that I'm going to show you, they bounce around the notes of the pentatonic scale pretty often. And uh, Eddie was a very, like, shape-oriented player. Like, it, he doesn't, like, stick to, oh, he's playing minor pentatonic. Oh, he's playing the Dorian scale. It's like, no, no, he does the Eddie Van Halen scale. So if we're thinking about the key of A here, these are three shapes you'll see a lot across Eddie's playing, and then I'll show you some licks based out of these. So the first one right here that you hear Eddie do a lot is this shape. And it, it's a really fascinating thing. This is one of the most eye-opening things to me about Eddie Van Halen, was that it taught me that I don't have to just stick to the scale. Like, sometimes the best notes are the ones that aren't supposed to be there. So what he's doing here is, you know, like I said, think of it as your pentatonic scale. And he's basically just kind of like running this pattern across it. So he's going four in the low E string, which is a kind of a rough note to start, start out on. But he quickly goes five, seven. Okay. And uh, some people might say it's more like a Dorian thing or all that kind of stuff. It could be, you know, I, again, I don't personally, I've never met Eddie. So I don't know if he's viewing them as scales, modes, or if he's just Eddie Van Halen. Oh wait, no, he is that. So uh, four, five, seven on the low E string. Now you do this across all the strings. And you notice at, at a slower tempo, a lot of those notes are a little bit tweaky on the ear. It's kind of like, that, that's an odd note. That, that, that major seven over a minor pentatonic. Then you go here, there's your major third. Major six. And he just kind of keeps going with it. So you have all those notes. That's the first pattern. Now the next pattern, like I said, I'll show you some licks with these ideas here in just a minute. Um, that Because he'll use that all over. Or he'll descend it. And go into some other solos. Um, he does that in all kinds of solos, especially on Van Halen 1. The next pattern is this one. We're gonna go five, seven, eight on the low E string. And then, you guessed it, he moves the shape across strings. Think of the hopper teacher. You know, when he's like walking that down the scale, he's, he's almost sticking to this the whole way down. He, he deviates a little bit, but just for simplicity's sake, we're gonna keep the pattern the same. So five, seven, eight, do it across all the strings. Now what's interesting is that the majority of the notes, they're in key again. Just like the last one, it was a shape, and some of the notes are a little bit, you know, there, there are no wrong notes, but they might not be the most friendly notes against the A, but whenever you hear it, you're like, there's that, the, that flat two or anything like that, but it, like, it still kind of works, you know? And it just shows you how much of a genius Eddie was. He just found these shapes, and he's just like, oh, I'm just gonna do this shape and not worry about the scale. So again, you could walk up one and descend the other. Doesn't really sound like music yet, but again, Eddie's a genius. So the next shape is this one right here, where we are going to be doing a full step, full step stretch. So, so far we've done this one that was like half step, full step, whole step, half step, and now we have a much more major sounding run, but again, he'll root it off of the root note and then just kind of move it across the string. 
boom, right there is another one. So I'm just going five, seven, nine on the low E string. Now it starts out straight up major scale. Now obviously he goes here, which deviates a little bit, giving a little bit more of that mixolydian sound because he's got his major third and his minor seven here now. Keeps going, goes up to the next one. Oh, that's all pentatonic. There's our major six again, just like it was over here. And then major third again. So like I said, you can see how Eddie, and when he's bending a lot, all those licks that he's doing, look, he's bending minor third up to major third. And again, you know, he's all these like famous guys, it's like, their scales that they use are almost chromatic. It's just their ear is so good that they're moving around. And, uh, and you know, Eddie just makes it effortless. So let's talk about using these shapes here a little bit now that we have the general idea under our fingers. All right, now one lick, I've, I've shown this lick in a previous video about Eddie Van Halen, but um, it's, it's such an essential lick because Eddie just does it so much. He does it in the jump solo, I'm the one. He, again, I think he does it in, oh, that's I'm the one. Uh, he does it in a few other spots as well. Um, he does a descending version of it in Feel Your Love Tonight. So what happens is he goes like this. He does it up here too. And what's happening here is he's just repeating a pattern now over the shape. So he starts out, um, a lot of times he starts out with a hammer-on, he might pick it. Again, he's Eddie Van Halen, he does what he wants. This is just the general idea. So four, five, seven, and he goes to the A string. And you know, Eddie has a lot of attack and aggression to his playing. So you gotta have some of these pick notes in here to make it have that attitude that Eddie has. So he goes to the A string and he's gonna pick four, five, seven. Now, instead of just picking everything, because Eddie's incredibly dynamic with his playing, he does the same three notes again, but he hammers on. So he goes four, five, seven, four, hammer on five, hammer on seven. So he goes. And he continues this pattern all the way down until the high E string. So you'd have this. And of course, he will deviate a lot of times and go off and do some other thing. But then he ends here and he goes. He always resolves it real nicely and it pulls your ear back in. Because if you go to the high E string, he goes um, four, five, seven, and he goes back to that five. So it, it's kind of an interesting idea because it's almost like, well, the most important notes are the notes that you you hear at the beginning and at the end. Because you can, like I said, you can go pretty far out. Listen to like, uh, oh, 1984, All, a lot of those outro solos. Listen to how crazy and almost like Holdsworthy Eddie's being with him. Like I said, like he'll do like real chromatic ideas and just go right back into a blues lick and it just saves it. So that's kind of what he's doing here with this lick. And, and like I said, and you can break all the notes down and they're not that far off the beaten path, but it's just such a cool way that he's using them. Now another thing that Eddie will do a lot is he likes to do that same pattern that we were talking about, but he descends it like this. Descends. I don't know why I said it so weird. Like that's kind of the pattern that he does. It's who I stole it from. You know, he, he does it in all kinds of shapes. But um, he a lot of times he doesn't stay in that scale kind of like mindset, like when he's playing just a straight pattern. He plays it for a second, and then like in the middle of it, right when you're getting comfortable, Eddie's just like, nope, I'm going over here. And he goes into something else that's crazy. But, um, so what I wanted to show you here was this one. We're gonna go. And uh, it's still kind of thing A. And we're basically, we're descending this in fours. So we're, we're starting here, same pattern as last time, but we, we kind of flipped it. We're gonna go seven, five, four on the G. And then seven on the D, okay? There's our first set of four. Now what happens is we get, we keep going, but we kind of repeat our notes. We're gonna go five to four on the G, and seven, five on the D, and then four on the G, and then seven, five, four on the D. It'd be kind of like one pass through it. And then you start over again on that same string. So you're gonna go seven, five, four, and you just kind of keep. 
But what Eddie does is he doesn't pick everything, and he doesn't pull off everything. It's this kind of hybrid thing, again, kind of going back to this dynamic. So he picks the first two notes, pulls off, goes to that seven, and then he goes five, pull off four. Okay? Seven, five, four. Okay? And he might resolve it to the floor, or, you know, whatever it is. Or he might go into some other crazy... Eddie Van Halen thing. But it's it's just fascinating watching how he just navigates around with this stuff. But he, he does that. That's in the Feel You Love Tonight. He's like... Now, we did that one shape a minute ago. Um, like that. And I want to show you an example of Eddie kind of using that shape and then kind of not at the same time. Uh, basically, if you listen to Spanish Fly, he has this tapping look. He has a lot of really cool licks in there. Well, that's in every Eddie Van Halen solo. But um, he does this one in particular where he moves a shape across the fretboard. <laughs> Similar to that, it might not be the exact phrasing and pattern and all that kind of stuff, but that's the general idea of it. And if you look at it, so... Okay, it's right there. And you might be like, well, that's not the shape that we did. That was the shape. And it's like, well, let's actually look at what Eddie's playing here, because it's kind of fascinating what he's doing, because it is that shape, is what's, what's kind of interesting. When he taps, he goes like this. So he's tapping 12 on the A string, he's pulling off the 5 and hammering on the 9. Again, I'm not saying this is the exact way he plays the lick, this is just the idea. Then he moves down a string, down again, down again, down again. Okay, and so on. Now, if we kind of put that into our scale without tapping the notes, well, what he's doing is this. Oh, it is the scale, minus we had to kind of like uh, adapt the B string. Of course, it's always in our way. But look at it like this. It's like, okay, so he's going. It is the scale. And it's just moving a shape across the strings again. So even though he's not that normal rock style of doing the shape, he's still doing the shape and pattern, and it must just be like his ear is just so in tune to this kind of stuff, but that's how he's using it. You know? So it's a really fascinating way to do it. Like, let's, I'll show you exactly what it is. It's gonna go uh, 7 on the D, 5 to 9 on the A. Move everything down a string. 7 on the G, 5 to 9 in the D. 8, this is the one we have to kind of like, uh, you know, tweak it a little bit. 8, and then 5, 9, and then you go 7, 5, 9. So you can see how he's using that pattern up here, and you could do that kind of stuff too. Like, it's really fascinating because you know, my instinct was to go like this. You know, Eddie's like, no, with this tapping, it's so interesting. So, there's another little, like, little thing that Eddie does that I thought was kind of cool. And the final thing I'll show you here is another just example of Eddie taking a shape and kind of moving it across strings. And, and again, it's, it's very pentatonic. And uh, this one is venturing into the key of E. And, um, it's, it's very similar to like a, a Dimebag Daryl lick. Like if you listen to Dime's playing, and if you listen to a lot of Eddie's playing, you can really hear how much of an influence Eddie had on Dime. He had a lot of influence on him. Look at like the Cowboy solo where Dime goes like this. It's the same lick that Eddie's playing, it's just Eddie doesn't have that dark minor sound. Move, move this pinky finger down a fret. It's an Eddie Van Halen lick. Move it up. It's a Dimebag Daryl lick. So you can see how similar they are. And it's like the Ice Caramel solo, that big stretch he does. So let's do this. He takes this shape idea. And the pattern is this. Um, and this isn't an exact Eddie lick. I'm going to keep saying that because there's going to be someone who's going to comment, That's not exactly how Eddie plays it. <laughs> Sorry, that's how I picture those people talking though. Alright, we're going to go 19 on the high string to 12 to 15, to 19. And then back to 17, back to 12. So just repeat that pattern. Same thing that George Lynch does in the In Your Dream solo. 
Uh, so we take this, and if you look at it, this whole lick that we just played, it's all pentatonic. Those are in your pentatonic box one. Well, that note is pentatonic box three. It's really not that, that strange. It's just a big stretch. Now, of course, Eddie being Eddie, he would take something like this and he moves it across the strings. Now, he might have a more complex pattern than what I'm doing. So then take it and move it up a string and it really hasn't ventured that far out of the scale. That's not part of our pentatonic scale, but it is part of your minor scale. Okay, so we have... Move up a string, you're gonna go 19 to 12 again. The pattern is exactly the same. Now, what's happening here? Oh wait, that's just a blues lick. <laughs> really? Look at it. In scale, flat five, in scale, minor third. You know, there, there's that's just a blues lick. Move it up again another string. Again, that's part of your pentatonic box three. Oh. That isn't, but this is. So the majority of these notes are always in key. Just kind of keep going with it. So like I said, that's more of like a dime kind of version of the lick, but Eddie does this all the time. He does this big stretch idea, and then he just moves across the fretboard. So there you guys have it. Hope you dug the video. Like I said, some of those aren't necessarily, you know, note for note, Eddie Van Halen licks. Like the last one was kind of like a di more of a dime lick than an Eddie lick, but his version of it is a little bit easier than Eddie's to show, uh, just to kind of like show the pattern of it anyways. So um, other than that, bounce on out of here, guys. Have, get your guitars, jam out. I'm going to play some rhythm out of here for you. Get the tabs. And uh, yo, Friday, I should have the comparison video of the, the new Esquire versus the old Esquire. So let's get it, y'all. Have a good rest of your day. Woo! <laughs>